Your safety is important to a lot of people. Knowledge is important and necessary for safety. Knowing yourself, knowing the machine, knowing the job site, knowing the best way to get the job done safely. It is vital that you and everyone who operates a skid steer loader understands proper machine operation and recognizes situations that, if not avoided, could result in an accident and an injury to yourself or others. During the next several minutes, you'll learn the basic safety precautions and instructions regarding the use and operation of Gale skid steer loaders. Skid steer loaders are self-propelled machines that are unique in their compact, rugged, and highly maneuverable design. They're designed for hard work, but as with all types of machines, injuries can occur if they are not operated safely. The use of a skid steer loader has inherent hazards that cannot be eliminated except by the exercise of intelligence, care, and common sense. It is therefore essential to have competent and careful operators who are thoroughly trained in the safe operation of the equipment. Although this presentation contains many important safety guidelines, it is not the only source for skid steer loader safety. The operator's manual is the primary source for information on safe loader operation. Another excellent source is the skid steer loader safety manual produced by the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, AEM. Both manuals are provided with every Gale skid steer loader. Some attachments also have an operator's manual. And if you have any questions, contact your dealer or Gale. It is essential that you become familiar with the operation of your particular skid steer loader. Differences among machines such as their controls and rated operating capacities affect how they must be operated to avoid injury. You will see a safety alert symbol throughout this presentation as well as in the operator's manual and on safety signs on the machine. This symbol identifies important safety messages. When you see it, be alert to the possibility of injury or death always follow the precautions in safety messages. This symbol will be used to identify actions that must be avoided to reduce the chance of injury. It is important to dress properly for the job. You may need heavy gloves, a hard hat, or other personal protective equipment. Do not wear loose clothing or anything else that could catch on controls or in moving parts. Before getting on the machine, perform a walk-around inspection. Check for proper fluid levels. Look for leaks and damaged, loose, or missing parts. Check that the tires are in good condition and properly inflated. Ensure that the engine compartment is clean of any flammable or foreign material. When getting into the loader, face the machine. Use the handholds and steps and maintain a three-point contact at all times. Turn around using the handholds and lower yourself into the seat. Now adjust the seat. Always fasten the seat belt. Adjust it snug across your hips. If your machine has the optional two-speed transmission, then you must also fasten the upper torso restraint, the shoulder belt. This is to prevent being thrown forward while driving at high speed if the attachment were to hit a solid object. If your machine has a seat bar, lowered it into position. All Gale skid steer loaders have a control interlock system. This interlock system is intended to reduce the risk of inadvertent movement of the controls during entry and exit. The system should be inspected daily 
and maintain for proper function as described in the operator's manual. The interlock system should never be bypassed or modified in any way. In case of any malfunction, contact your dealer immediately. Gale skid steer loaders can be equipped with a variety of control options. Dual levers with either foot or hand controls for the lift and tilt functions. Joystick controls. Dual T-bars or combination T-bar joystick. As you can see, it is extremely important to become familiar with the machine's controls before operating it. Take the time to read the operator's manual and the safety decals on the machine and any on the attachment. Safety signs can help avoid situations that could result in injury or death. Gale loaders are equipped with many other safety features. The cab is the most obvious example. The operator protective structure, or ROPS FOPS, provides rollover protection and falling object protection for the operator. The ROPS FOPS, including the side screens, should never be removed or modified. Cabs have a rear window that can be used as an emergency exit. The rear window on most models can be opened by pulling on a triangular shaped tab, which will release the window so that it can be pushed out. On other models, the rear window is opened by using the latches. Your particular job application may require additional safety accessories or equipment such as a polycarbonate front window to prevent materials from entering the cab, or a horn, or a backup alarm, or rotating beacon, or a slow moving vehicle, SMV emblem. Consult your dealer if you have any questions about what is needed. Now, let's talk about the proper way to start the machine. Never attempt to start the engine or operate the controls from outside the operator station. This is dangerous and could result in serious injury or death. Always sit in the operator's seat to start and operate the machine. To start a machine safely, first ensure that all controls are in neutral and that the parking brake is applied. Be sure that the area is clear of all bystanders. Now start the engine. Check all controls, gauges, and warning indicators. Servicing the machine may be necessary before you begin operating it. Now check the steering and drive controls. As explained, the control types, patterns, and functions can vary depending on the model and its options. After the engine is started and the throttle is set, you should check the controls and the operation of the loader. Release the parking brake and then run the loader at a reduced speed away from others until you are certain that you can precisely control the operation of the loader. Although machines may differ, one thing remains the same. Moving the controls smoothly and gradually is the best and safest way to operate a skid steer loader. Skid steer loaders use hydrostatic transmissions. The machine will react instantly when you move the drive controls. The further the drive controls are moved from neutral, the faster the machine will move. If necessary, the machine can be stopped by releasing the controls. Hand-operated controls are used for travel and steering control on all machines. Another control activates the auxiliary hydraulic system and on some models the float rate can be adjusted. The auxiliary hydraulic system is used to operate numerous hydraulically powered attachments such as backhoes, grapples, augers, breakers, 
cold planers and brooms. Every skid steer loader has a rated operating capacity, which is listed on the machine or in the operator's manual. The rated capacity must not be exceeded. Overloading could cause the machine to tip forward and possibly result in injury or damage to the machine. Skid steer loaders can be equipped with different size buckets for use with different types and weights of materials. Be sure to use the correct type and size of attachment for the job. And always make sure the attachment is properly secured to the attachment bracket. Safe handling of loads requires care and good judgment. Here are a few guidelines. Never ram a bucket into the material pile. Loaders have the most tractive power at the slowest speeds. Always carry the load as low as possible for the best stability and visibility. Keep your hands and feet in the cab and on the controls at all times. Never stand, lean out, or reach out the front of the loader when the engine is running. A drive control or hydraulic control could be activated which could result in a serious injury. Don't make any sudden stops starts or turns. Again, always operate the controls smoothly and gradually. Avoid rough terrain if possible, but if this is not possible, drive slowly and cautiously. Be careful on slopes and avoid traveling across steep slopes. Keep the load as low as possible. Drive straight up and down slopes. Keep the heavier end of the loader uphill. With no load, the rear end is the heavier end. Refer to the operator's manual for specific instructions. Slow down as you approach the dump site. Raise the load slowly, only as high as necessary. Keep the load level to prevent spilling material over the back of the bucket. Never lift, swing, or move a load over anyone and never allow anyone to stand or reach under raised lift arms. Look in all directions before moving and keep bystanders away from the machine. Always look to the rear before backing up. Never carry riders on the loader or on the attachment. A skid steer loader is intended to carry only one person, the operator. Be aware of potential job site hazards, such as overhead power lines, underground power and gas lines, and excavations. If you must work in an enclosed area, make sure you have adequate ventilation. Exhaust fumes can kill. When parking or leaving the loader, never leave it with the lift arms raised or the engine running. Always follow the mandatory safety shutdown procedure, which is described on the machine and in the operator's manual. First, fully lower the lift arms and place the attachment on the ground. Next, stop the engine. Then, apply the parking brake and remove the ignition key. And finally, Try to activate the controls to verify this will not cause any movement of the machine. If the lift arms must be left in a raised position for service work, then they must be supported by an approved lift arm support device to prevent accidental lowering. A lift arm support device is standard equipment on every gale loader. Its use is explained in the operator's manual. When transporting a loader, follow the loading, unloading, lifting, and tie-down instructions in the operator's manual. It's impossible to cover every situation you could encounter on the job. To be a safe and proficient skid steer loader operator requires knowledge, skill, and good judgment. Be that kind of operator. Viewing this presentation, 
and reading the operator's manual will help you achieve that goal. Only by following good safety practices and using good judgment can you protect yourself and those around you. Doing your job well and doing it safely is the mark of a true professional. <laughs>